Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your weekly messages. So uh, I feel this upcoming week you will be saying goodbye to things that um, you couldn't change. Whatever happened in the past that caused pain or anything that you did maybe that you're regretting or feeling very regretful for, um, you will be letting that go. You're finally going to let go of that resentment or whatever it is that had happened um, because we have the Five of Cups here. So see, notice how he's just like saying goodbye to, it could be you saying goodbye to the old you, saying, letting go of, you know, something that you couldn't control, something that had happened or whatever, and you are just saying goodbye. You're releasing that, so that's good. Um, we do have the Seven of Swords, which is reversed, okay? This is being aware of manipulation, people trying to get away with mind-fucking you, fuckery, uh, stopping someone in their trap. Maybe in the past, maybe you caught somebody and there was nothing you can do about it. It was out of your control and you are forgiving. You're letting that go and it's making you feel better. Um, we do have the King of uh, Wands here. So this could have been a fire sign. Um, it doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying, you know, because it's the King of Wands. Someone very good looking, someone... Um, who's very ambitious and motivated and stuff like that. It could have been a player. Um, or you're, this could be you taking on the energies of a fire sign, of the king of wands, who you're standing in your power, you're standing in your authority, and you're um, putting your foot down and stuff like that. I feel like this upcoming week you're going to be feeling like a little badass um, because you're. I feel like you're getting your power back in some kind of way. And um, we have the Ten of Cups. So... With the Ten of Cups, like I said, we, with this release that you're doing, it's going to bring you so much abundance. Like, you're closing up one chapter to open up a new one. And this new one is going to be amazing. And the, uh, obviously, it's the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is amazing all on its own. It's emotional abundance, happiness at its highest form, bliss. And um, we have Love Begins. So there you go. The Ten of Cups and then the Love Begins. Come on. Great things are coming, right? For those who wait, the reason why I say that is because we have the patience card. So you were very patient. Very patient about you knew what was coming. You have this awareness. And the reason why I say that is because the awareness card came out. So you have knowledge. You are very in tune with spirituality, your higher self. Um, you have a good connection to spirit. So I feel like you knew in your subconscious mind good things were coming. Be your new beginning was here. And I feel like with this upcoming week and you releasing certain things, certain, you know, regrets or stuff from the past, it's going to bring a great relief. You're going to feel like a badass. You're going to get your power back. You are going to feel happy. You're going to feel the love coming in. It's kind of like a promise of love coming in with that rainbow there. Rainbows represent promises, just like in the Bible where it says that, um, how rainbows represent a promise and stuff like that. And it's all about patience. You see that? You see how he's holding a rose and it's growing? Something that you were working on, maybe a baby or something that you were working on that required you to really tap into your, your awareness and your mind is, is growing and it's coming to fruition. It's coming to, you're getting the abundance in that and it's going to leave you very, very happy with the Ten of Cups here. So congratulations um then the oracle card that i pulled for you is the ghost card this is the one that came out when i was shuffling the ghost card is talking about regret so you could be letting go of anything that you regretted um anything that happened in the past i'm telling you you were releasing that you're saying goodbye to it look at him he's kind of like saying bye felicia bye <laughs> you no longer have a place in in this new chapter okay bye bye it's kind of like you're releasing that so like i said you you will be, you have good, great things coming for you, Virgo. So this upcoming week is going to be huge for you. It's, it's going to be kind of like a transformation. Love begins, Ten of Cups, you know. I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, and it's it's all about that patience. You were patient. You felt something coming. Uh, you were well aware of abundance coming in for you, whether this is love or, or your business growing or someone starting a family or it could be anything so 
you knew this was coming. You were well aware of that. That's why we have the awareness card because you're very highly intuitive and you are a little badass. <laughs> and you will be feeling like a badass with the king of like the queen king of wands here. So whether you're male or female. So with that being said, this is your weekly message. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye-bye.